Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. And today I want to make an updated house tour video since I see that the first version was actually quite popular, especially for the size of my channel. So I would like to show you an end game house so you can potentially either copy it or get some ideas for your own house. As you can see, mine is in Prifinus. I don't really know why, I think it's a pretty cool looking place. But that's not the point of this video. Let's go ahead and head inside and check out what I have in here. So, as you can see, this uh, the original video, I believe, had a either 4x3 house or even a 5x3 house, which at this point I see that it was kind of unnecessary. I'll show you all of the rooms, I'll go from least to most important, and then I'll show you what you can do with them. This is the least important, the games room. I only do this in order to use the attack stone, so I can keep my experience, as you can see right here, it's the same the same number, and I have a kind of OCD when it comes to these things, so for example, runecrafting, uh, I have some mining right here, fishing, fire making, wood cutting. So I'm kind of like an OCD person when it comes to numbers, and the only thing this room, the only reason why this room is here is so I can use the attack zone and gain one experience for whenever, uh, you know, these are not the same, so that's pretty much it. Next I have the, I believe the next least useful one would be the pet room, or whatever you call it, because then you can have all of them in your bank. You can just use this to store your pets, really not that important. Um, and I believe those are the ones, the only ones that I would cut, because next we have some important ones. Here I have two superior gardens, I believe they are. So this one is to go to the wilderness in order for me to do my clue scrolls faster, and I have the obelisk right here, as well as the spirit tree and the fairy ring combination. I have the ornate pool, and this is just for, you know, for show. I didn't really want to spend that much money on another, um, ornate pool. <laughs> so... We have all of these covered, and next we go to... Well, I mean, this one is useless, but you have to have it here, right? So this is another garden, and this is just for the portal. Here we have some flowers, and that's pretty much it. This is fairly important, right? So basically, this one you want in order for you to have this in your house and change your spell books yourself without going to, a guest, uh, to another house. These are the teleports that you need in order to skip all of the jewelry teleports and you know not having them in your bank which is which actually make things so much faster and better here i have the adventurer log as you can see i'm not going to go through through any of these at all and just because i like killing four cats so much this is my default my de my default display as you can see this is the only one i have but that's the only one i use and lastly the focus no actually no no no, no sorry <laughs> here this is the only one that doesn't change from my previous video, so this is just to get your treasure trails items and in here your armors and other outfits that you want for your skilling adventure. So like for example here I have, what do I have here, the mourner gear, some builder costume, the lumberjack and you get the idea. So basically you get all of these in order to store your items and make your bank even smaller and more efficient. Next one, this one could also be cut because the only way, the only thing I use this one for is to teleport to the mythical cape. And I, I mean to the, <laughs> to the myths guild, uh, uh, guild, right? And that's pretty much it. Let's focus on this room, which even though there's only one thing, it's one of the most important ones. So basically, this is the portal nexus and it is the highest tier and I'll show you why. If I have my teleport right here, I'll kind of explained the reasoning behind the setup of these teleports, right? So you want to have your portal nexus configured in a way that you can do everything as fast as possible, right? So I'll show you why. I'll tell you the ones I don't use and then the, the ones I do use, I'll tell you why they are in that certain position. So all of these, I don't use at all, right? Up until... Yeah, all of these. So from 1 to 9, these are just random, and I just have them here to uh, uh, because I actually wanted to have all the teleports, but I don't actually use all of them, I just find other ways to get there, right? It starts getting better after you go to the A. I have A for Ardi, or Ardoyan, whatever you want to pronounce it, B for Barrows, C for, for Catherby, for Waterbirth Island, my clue is that if I go there, it's to kill the Dagonoth King, so basically a, I press D for Dagonoth, right? Uh, this one is useless, F for Falador, this one is to go to Canifis because I used it before and I got kind of, you know, used to press G in order to go to Canifis. Next one, H for Harmony Island, Lunar Isle, I have it on I because of the Isle, pretty simple. 
Lumbridge Grave I don't use, Corend for K, obviously, Lumbridge in L, Mind Alter for whenever I chase the runecrafting pet since I don't have it anymore, have it in M, Marim I really don't use it, so whatever, this one is useless, this one is useless, 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 Troll Stronghold for the farming runs, obviously T, Varrock goes, I mean, I would, I, I would love to have it on the V, but uh, Varaka goes first and then the Grand Exchange. So these are here. Finally, Vice for the W and Apa Toll since I don't use it here at the very bottom. So as you can see, this is the way in which I set up my portal nexus as well as the entirety of my house. To give you a super quick summary, I guess. This, mostly useless, this is just for the Myths Guild. This is for all your outfits. This one you do not need because I only use it for the 1 XP drops for my attack styles. Next one, your pet garden. Two superior gardens for the obelisk as well as the spiritual fairy tree. The portal since you actually need this one or you won't have a house. <laughs> and next one, your I believe this is the achievement gallery, I think it's called. And lastly, your portal nexus to go anywhere you want in the world. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this updated version. I believe after this, the bank video and the teleport and the house videos are really not going to be updated anymore because unless there's some huge content update coming to either banks or houses, I think we're good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tip video. If you copy any of my setups or the, the portal nexus teleports, let me know in a comment below. So hopefully you guys are well. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.